this is my lithium ion battery it's my prototype liquid cooled battery module it's got 13 cells in series and 7 in parallel making it, making it a 48 volt system with 17 and a half amp hours which is just around 800 watt hours of capacity the batteries theoretically can output around 8 kilowatts because the cells are capable of 10 C current output and as you see I have woven some copper pipe between the battery cells making it liquid cooled I'm trying to focus here as you see there's some six millimeter thick copper pipe between the battery cells and I can pump water through those and the spaces are filled up with thermally adhesive glue I'm not expecting to be able to get 8 kilowatts out of this system because I don't think these the nickel strips can handle that well according to my calculations they can it just will get pretty hot so I, I want to limit it to around 4 kilowatts of output and I'm on the safe side um, every cell group has a thermistor making it uh, so I can monitor the temperature of the individual cell groups and of course I have the balance lead here so I also have made my own battery management system here it is well to be quite honest it's probably the worst BMS in the world and I'm definitely gonna redesign it because it has some fundamental problems but I've I've fixed it and it's uh, controlled by an Arduino so it can read all the thermistor values it can it can read all the voltages of the cells and uh, decide if the pump needs to be engaged for the cooling and the radiator fan and things like that and this is the control module for the pump and the radiator fan and I will also have a display but as I said the battery management system is not very good it's my first circuit board that I've designed and I will redesign it completely from ground up so if if you're interested into the making of this liquid cooled battery pack just let me know because this will be a long journey and uh, it's already a long journey into the making and probably thousands of dollars uh, already invested but this isn't really about battery it's about the uh, learning experience so this is the battery pack here the battery module 91 cells this is the BMS I also had this display module with the touch touch screen but uh, it doesn't communicate with the rest of the system so there's something wrong with it and I'm currently printing out a housing for the battery I can give you a little sneak peek This will be the battery housing and it's 
it's done in 48 hours. <laughs> And the copper pipe is basically like like that it's just a bit bigger this is like a test piece I made and it is basically placed in between the cells like this and glued with thermally adhesive glue and in the end all of these little leads will be connected together and water will be pumped through the pipes when the battery reaches a temperature that requires cooling so I'm gonna keep you updated on this project see you guys later